The Apple Vision Pro is a truly amazing product that delivers futuristic eye and hand tracking interface along with breathtaking 3D video and truly impressive AR apps. It's also a magical way to extend your Mac. But there is some early performance bugs that need to be worked out, the battery can get in the way and digital persona is a bit creepy and needs work. What the heck is happening? That's what I said to myself as I played Virtual DJ, spinning two records in front of me with a crossfade knob and special effects I could control with my hands in mid-air. I just reached out and touched them. I had a similar what the fish moment in a good way when I just looked at my MacBook to connect and surprise its display on the wall in front of me. Then I pinned the Apple Music app to the left of my desk and Slack to the right. This is what Apple means by spatial computing. And I was left almost speechless when I viewed a 3D spatial video of my three dogs coming towards the camera. It's so immersive you may get a bit emotional. Oh, and you can watch regular 3D movies in Apple TV Plus that blow away your local theater. The Apple Vision Pro is an incredible piece of technology with eye and hand tracking interface that puts the competition to shame. But there is some early bugs and some very weird things that come along with this revelation including a freaky digital persona version of yourself that can appear in FaceTime calls. Starting at US$3,500, the Vision Pro is obscenely expensive and for well-heeled early adapters only. But it is the most innovative product Apple has created in over a decade and a fascinating look at the future of computing and entertainment rolled into one very slick package. Here's what it's like to use and my pros and cons so far. The Apple Vision Pro is available for pre-order now and the release date is February 2. This headset may be able to track your eyes with amazing precision, but it also starts at an eye-watering price of $3,499. The entry-level model comes with 256GB of storage and it's $3,699 for 512GB and $3,899 for 1TB. Wire glasses, the Z's optical inserts for readers cost US$99 and prescription lenses cost US$149. Two, I do like how easily they magnetically attach to the Vision Pro. Apple Care Plus will run you an additional US$499 which gives you two years of unlimited repairs and damage protection. In terms of accessories, there is plenty of options. but. The one I recommend most is the US$199 travel case, which is big and bulky but will protect the Vision Pro when you are flying or just going to and from the office. Other accessories include Belkin's battery holder for US$49. The Apple Vision Pro comes in a pretty big box and there is lots of stuff in it including the headset itself, the light seal fitted for your face, the light seal cushion and both the solo knit band and dual loop band. There is also the Apple Vision Pro battery which remains tethered to the headset at all time, a second thicker light seal cushion, a polishing cloth and a 30 watt USB-C power adapter. The Apple Vision Pro is easily the sleekest headset yet with a carved glass front panel and a modular design that makes it very customizable to the wearer. But it's definitely not light, after 30 minutes I felt it weighing on my cheeks. When ordering your Vision Pro, you will scan your face similar to how you'd set a face ID to get a light seal that's personalized which prevents light from leaking into your view. There are two bands that come with the Vision Pro. There is the solo knit band and the dual loop band. The former is stretchy and makes it really easy to take the Vision Pro on and off. And you can quickly tighten and loosen the fit with the built-in knob. The dual loop band provides more stability because there is a strap that goes across the top of your head and the back. I find this one better for longer Vision Pro sessions as there is more support for what's pretty weighty headset. The Vision Pro weighs 1.3 to 1.4 pounds which is more than an 11 inch iPad Pro on your head. For context, the MetaQuest 3 weighs 1.1 pounds 
and the Meta Quest Pro 1.6 mounts. After wearing the Vision Pro on and off for several hours, I didn't find it com uncomfortable to wear, but I did feel like taking periodic breaks because of the heft. I also get some light and red marks on my cheeks. The right side of the Vision Pro houses the digital crown which brings up the home screen from wherever you are. Turning the crown dials up the immersion on whatever environment you are watching and also controls the volume. The button on the left side of the headset is a top button which you can use for capturing spatial photos and videos as well as confirming purchase. I really like how modular the Vision Pro design is. The light seal and the light seal cushion attached magnetically to the device and it's easy to swap out the two band options by pulling on little orange tags. But I would say the magnetic connection could be a bit stronger. A couple times when picking up the Vision Pro, the light seal detached. So you are better off holding it by the metal and glass frame. The Apple Vision Pro feels revolutionary because of how easy it is to operate. There is no controllers to deal with. You just use your eyes to look at the element you want to select and then tap your thumb and index finger together to click. While setting up the Vision Pro, I immediately got accustomed to that input because you are worked through a calibration process that involves following a dot around the screen and selecting it. When you are greeted with a home screen of iOS-like icons that float in front of your view of the room you are in. Vision OS starts with a real-world view as the baseline because the Vision Pro wants to bring digital content to your environment instead of taking it over. And the video passed through is very lifelike as the dedicated R1 chip is fast enough to stream images to the Vision Pro's micro OLED displays within 12 milliseconds that's 8x faster than you blink. I had no problem walking from room to room of using my iPhone with the Vision Pro on to the frame rate of my iPhone 14 Pro Max was a tad sluggish. As you stare around the home screen view and move your eyes from icon to icon, they light up ready to be selected. This is immensely satisfying, relaxing and easy to do because the Vision Pro has downward facing cameras that can track your hands in your lap. The eye tracking is so good, it's also used to authenticate you via Optic ID which measures your pupils for security. So think Face ID for your eyes. When it works, it works well but a couple of times during my testing, it didn't work. And sometimes you need to enter your pin code via a floating keypad to enable Optic ID which I found annoying. So what about gestures? You can easily scroll from left to right and up to down by pinching your fingers together and drag the direction you want to move. Zooming in on a photo or web page is as easy as pinching your fingers together with both hands and spreading them apart. It's minority report cool. In case you are wondering, I tried the Vision Pro in complete darkness and you will get warning that says you won't see your hands, but the hand and eye tracking interface still works, so you can definitely watch movies in bed. So what can you do with the Vision Pro? For a starter, it's a multitasking jam thanks to the built-in M2 chip that runs the OS. For example, I launched Safari in the center of my space, then I turned to my left and asked Siri to launch Slack and the app appeared. When I turned to the right of Safari and opened Apple Music so I could have that playing in the background. Even better, it's easy to move apps around in your virtual space by selecting the bar beneath the app and you can resize them by staring at the bottom right corner and dragging it with your finger. If you want to close an app, you can either stare at the X beneath the window or simply ask Siri to close all apps. You can also go back home at any time by long pressing the digital crown. At any time, you can pull up the control center by simply looking up and clicking on the floating downward facing arrow. From this menu, you can change environments, turn on guest mode, access Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, start screen recording and more. One of the options in control center is the ability to connect with your Mac, but you can also bring your Mac desktop into the Vision Pro just by looking at it. I saw a connect button floating above my MacBook Pro 14 inch 
pinched my fingers together and saw my laptop's screen go blank, popping up on the wall in front of me instead. You don't get multiple desktop views, but you can get a crystal clear 4K display that renders text crisply and you can make that canvas positively huge so it dwarfs most of the best monitors. Your keyboard and mouse still work as they normally would with no latency. You can even use your keyboard in Vision Pro apps if you want. Yes, only Apple could do this and I could see myself taking the Vision Pro on business trips and using it back at the hotel. One of the unique aspects to the Apple Vision Pro is your choice of multiple environments. Think of them as 3D desktop on steroids. There are several options available ranging from Yosemite and Layakala to the moon. I pulled up Mount Hood and was floored by the level of realism with detailed sand and rocks beneath my feet, rippling water in front of me and towering mountain in the background. And you get to decide how immersive the environment is by turning the digital crown clockwise or counterclockwise. There are also environments that are unique to specific apps. For instance, Apple TV Plus has its own cinema environment for watching movies that makes it feel like you are watching a 100-foot screen while Disney Plus lets you use the Avengers Tower as your backdrop complete with a collection of Iron Man suits before playing a show or movie. The Apple Vision Pro lets you type on a floating keyboard to enter text but it's not very satisfying. For one, there is no tactile feedback even though you hear clicks as you type and you can't type very quickly, it's more a peck 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 scenario with one or two hands. I do like that you can enter text with your voice, for example, if you are in Safari and you just stare at the microphone icon in the address bar and speak. YouTube, it will automatically take you to the website. Also keep in mind that you can easily pair a Bluetooth keyboard to the Apple Vision Pro for easier and faster text input. The Apple Vision Pro on day one is already a first class entertainment device and it will make even the biggest skeptic a believer in 3D movies. There are hundreds of 3D movies available on Apple TV Plus and I couldn't believe how good Man of Steel looked through the Vision Pro. As Superman took off for the first time, it was like he flew right over my shoulder. The more recent the Super Mario Bros movie was even more immersive with the characters popping off the screen as Mario flew around in his raccoon suit while being chased by an oversized boom. This is a good time to mention that the sound from Apple Vision Pro is surprisingly good. There are two audio ports built into the strap positioned close to your ears and they deliver rich and balanced spatial audio. For example, I could hear Mario coming from the left side of the screen and Princess Peach from the right as they spoke. When listening to SZS Kill Bill through Apple Music, the audio ports had plenty of punch in the drums and the vocals were crystal clear. However, it's worth noting that the audio will leak out from the Vision Pro while listening so if you want to keep things private, you should wear AirPods. The AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C is your best bet because they support lossless audio. If you want to take entertainment to the next level, there is an immersive video, a new format that delivers a 3D experience via 8K recordings with a 180 degree field of view. For example, I nearly lost my breath when I watched a female highliner attempt to essentially walk a tightrope between two mountains 3000 feet above the earth in Norway. Apple has shown other examples of how immersive video could come to life such as through a goalkeeper's perspective during a soccer match and I could see this as a game-changing format for watching sporting events, especially since Apple has rights to broadcast MLB and MLS games. You could essentially sit anywhere you want to see the action. The Apple Vision Pro is easy to scoff at because of its price and I definitely can't afford one at US dollars but now that I have been wearing one and testing all its features, I would argue that it's the most innovative Apple product since the original iPhone. There is an insane amount of ingenuity of 
display here from the razor sharp micro oled displays and the super realistic video pass through to the remarkably intuitive and fun interface that tracks your eyes and hands i am also very impressed with the spatial computing experience as it takes multitasking to the next level especially when you add a mac to the mix in terms of entertainment the 3d video experience on the vision pro is unmatched and immersive video in particular has a ton of potential to change the way we view everything from concerts to sporting events and the 3d goodness continues with moving spatial videos and photos that transform your memories into something hyper real the vision pro app situation is clearly still in the early stages with some notable heavy hitters missing at launch but the ar apps i tried are due drop convincing and should hopefully spur more developers to hop on the board so what's not to like about the vision pro the super expensive price is a big one as it will greatly limit this headset's initial appeal some may want to wait for the rumored lower cost version on the horizon but there is no timetable for that I also found that the third battery to be annoying at times and the personas while admirable are a bit unnerving to look at so hopefully they look considerably better after the beta stage so my bottom line on the vision pro is that it's definitely revolutionary but it's a revolution very much in progress thanks for watching see you in the next one